But what I want to show you is the thing we've all been waiting for, is a new tablet that is going to be released to the market next week. And I'd like to introduce the CTO of 42, 42T2, Stefan Odefer, to come out and talk to us about his new Mego tablet. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> talk to us about it. Right. They can see it, so I'll let you go. So, Go ahead. We, we started this project about three years ago um, based on Ubuntu in former times and switched to Migo um, about a couple of months ago. So the reason why we switched to Migo was that we actually uh, have here in Migo a very optimized uh, operating system for tablets, especially for atom-based architecture. It's a very you know, comprehensive, comprehensive operating system which, you, which we all are used to, but on the other hand, it's very lightweight. So for example, we have a boot up time for only 16 seconds and we have a standby recovery time of one second, all thanks to Migo. You're gonna show so it? So I can, I can show it to you, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. So it's standby right now and push it on again. There we go again. So um, the, I can have a quick look for the, for the system so you can see. So it's, it's set on the MIGO 1.0 framework, and we just adapted a special UI made for touch screens. So for example, you can see here, you have the pin, what we call pin board. Every application, real time, from, with content from the net, or just a starter for applications, is here on the desktop of the pin board. Of course, you could switch it like this. And if I go, for example, to a browser here, you have the same thumb navigation on the left side, because actually, you use the tablet like this and hold with both hands. You can steer the, or navigate through the content without leaving um, the one hand. So I want to switch to another application. Of course, it supports Flash. And it supports next to Flash, that supports Adobe Air. Of course, C++-based applications with Qt, GTK, Java applications, and also Android applications are supported on the WeTab. Fantastic, and this is gonna be start shipping next week? Right, we are really excited about this since um, it's gonna be the first ship tablet of Migo-based tablet in the world. It's gonna start next week on Tuesday is the market entry in Germany, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. What we are going to show you is actually a television system where we've used Migo uh, to provide the capability to get secure televisions as well as applications and internet uh, television. Uh, due to the fact that remote don't really like the light, so the demo is going to be run by my friend Francis on the back. So uh, the TV side is uh, something that we cannot show here. We are a bit too far from UK to receive our channels. Uh, but uh, we have downstairs if you want to play with a device, a simulator. So the first thing we're going to see is uh, as a media center to get a bit of music. And uh, we have, as you can see, a very fast and smooth animation capability. So we're going to get a little bit of a track song first. <laughs> so now that we have our music running, uh, we're going to look a little bit at our photos. And you can notice, uh, even on a big screen uh, with the Atom, we have a very nice uh, transition system. Uh, the photos are quite fast to come out. The transition are very sharp and uh, you have the capability to enjoy with your family directly on your TV uh, this facility. But at the end of the day, TV is about TV. So we have recorded some video to show you how we are capable to play high definition encrypted content, which was really the challenge in that world. So we go to a few shows that we have recorded with our PVR feature and we're going to uh, get to the BBC River programs that are particularly like. Um, so what you can notice here is that even using an open standard platform, we have a very smooth high definition video rendering on an encrypted video while respecting the openness of the platform. And that was really the challenge to create the facilities. But you know, a smart TV has to be smart, so we have also added a lot of application, and that background coming from Migo is to provide access to this uh, big breadth of applications. So that's just to give you an example of what we did. 
Now, this entire product was developed in six months with Migo, um, which was really uh, the tough part of it. Yeah. Uh, the first incarnation is for tier one telecommunication operators, and this new UI we show you is actually been done in six weeks uh, to be introduced at IBC and IDF. And this is a shipping product today. And that is a shipping product today. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you, Renee. Yes.